So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try uh, and sort of demonstrate this pedal now. And uh, it's it's got a lot of great features. Like I said, the dip switches. And of course, I'm just on the default setting, the super lead. And it's, it's a lot to handle. So here we go. So outside, we have a, a purple Mark II, uh, probably like a probably late 70s Marshall amp. That's what you're hearing. And then there's another amp out there, sort of uh, an amp called the Trainwreck sort of a special amp that this guy made. There we go, so that's easy. Already it's got a really sort of bitchin' tone. But then with this, I mean, I'm just setting it right now. I've got the tone probably at about 10 o'clock. I've, uh, I've got the level at about 2 o'clock, which isn't all the way up. And now I'm going to step on it, and I've got the, the, uh, the drive all the way down. So it's going to have just a little bit of woof to it. Same lick on the. It sounds good, but for some reason this just drives it just a little bit more. Now, you can start to go crazy with this thing. I mean, give it just a little bit more. We're going to take it up to about 9 o'clock. I can hear the sustain be more responsive, sort of the colors coming out more, the tone has changed a little, and it's, and you know, depending on how, how you're picking, how you manipulate the picking technique, you know, it just brings more out of it. Me, when I do like those high things, you know, I'm, I'm doing the fingers on the hybrid picking and stuff, that sort of gives it a certain flavor to it, but it's still... You know, with the pick, it's still, you can get those colorful responses and stuff. Uh, let's show you the uh, total variations here. So, me, I like it further. I like to push the bottom. That's what I like. But some cats like it kind of low up on the bottom. just right in the middle pickup, you know, so it was really making the highs respond to it. And you sort of get that nasal, you start getting that nasal sort of tone when you got it way up there. Almost like a, a depressed wah pedal or something that Hendrix did so cool with. Uh, but man, you know, I'm going to take it back down to 10 o'clock. Now we're going with people, we're going into the zone for people that just like to go crazy. Now I'm turning the drive about 3 o'clock. You can see the amps are like easy 40, 50 feet away from me in another room. So it's, even, even though the amps are creating all the sound and vibrations out there, the guitar is still like ready to go. And that's what this pedal's kind of done, you know. I mean, that's with it off, you know. There's not much sympatheticness going here, but turn this on. So I can go. We just have Steve Petros and these two modern uh, Yamaha modern speakers. It's, it's not loud. Hear me talking.
there's so much you can do with this pedal depending on what your situation is, your live situation is. Uh, I like this pedal a lot. This pedal's colorful. It's, it sounds like a Marshall. It's not that it's going to turn any amp into a Marshall, of course. I mean, there's certain parameters. But you hook this up to a decent amp, and you're going to start cranking out just like a Marshall, man. And uh, I like it. Remember, Tony's always in the hands, but having this pedal on your side will not hurt. That would be a great thing. So check it out, the SLE.